So today we will discuss about the calculation part of the severe test. So that the severe test we have already discussed in our previous two videos, and uh, we have collected some data for the severe by the severe test. Okay, so this calculation is basically based on the uh, data which we have got from the severe test. So these are the severe test data. So here these are the penetration values. Okay, and these are the load values in kg. So for your reference, this load value in kg is estimated by multiplying the factor or calibration constant with the probing ring values. Okay, that is the uh, probing ring was there, which was accounted for the load readings. That probing ring value multiplied by the calibration constant, we got the load values. Okay, so after that, after getting all these values, we need to plot one graph and that graph is called load versus penetration graph okay so uh, in the x axis it is penetration values and in the y axis these are the load values so here see this shape of the curve okay this shape of the curve is very much important because by the shape you get to know whether any corrections are required or not so we will discuss this correction part in the later section so let us first estimate the severe values. Now you know uh, we got two type of severe values. One is severe values for 2.5 mm penetration and another one is severe value for 5 mm penetration. For this you need to find out what is the load values at 2.5 mm penetration. We got a value of 40 kg and similarly for 5 mm penetration we got a value of 50 4 kg okay so these are the values so now uh, next part is how to calculate the severe so your severe value at 2.5 mm penetration is load at 2.5 mm penetration divided by standard load at 2.5 mm penetration multiplied by 100 and we call the result in percentage so generally the severe test results are always uh, uh, represented in percentage values okay so for our case that loaded 2.5 mm penetration is 40 kg so it is 40 divided by 1370 here 1370 is the standard load for 2.5 mm penetration now this standard load is estimated by uh, a severe test which is conducted on crushed stone okay these are the standard values so 40 divided by 1370 into 100 we got a value of 2.92% now severe value at 5 mm penetration is loaded 5 mm penetration so for our case this load is 54 kg so 54 divided by standard load at 5 mm penetration and this is 2055 kg so we got a severe value of 2.63% okay now uh, another thing you need to remember that the severe value of 2.5 mm penetration should always greater than the severe value of 5 mm penetration okay so if uh, the opposite occurs if in such cases if 5 mm penetration is more than the 2.5 mm penetration in that case you have to again reconduct the severe test now after if three consecutive test similar test results are coming that is 5 mm penetration is more than 2.5 mm penetration in that case whatever severe value you are getting that is the maximum value then you have to adopt that value as your severe test value okay now uh, we will discuss about the corrections so here you may have a question that 2.5 mm penetration value that is the load regarding 2.5 mm penetration values and 5 mm penetration values we are getting directly from our uh, uh, table so why we need to plot the graph so basically this plotting of the graph is required to find out whether any corrections are needed so like in this case okay we have plotted uh, a graph based on this data okay we have uh, slightly changed this data now here you can observe 
that this portion of the curve is slightly convexity is upward in the upward direction so if such cases occurs in that case here corrections are needed so basically the plotting of the graph main purpose of the plotting of the graph is to estimate whether any corrections are needed or not so if such cases occurs in that case you have to draw one tangent and which will intersect the x-axis over here okay so after that you have to shift your axis in that point so this point is your new zero mark okay so by this way all of your penetration values will be shifted with this amount so your new 2.5 mm penetration is this portion okay so initially that point was this now as you have shifted your graph this is now this point okay so similarly you have to find out what is the a new load values for the 2.5 mm penetration so for our case we got a value of uh, nearly 45 kg and your new load values for new 5 mm penetration value and we got a value of 55 kg so then you have to calculate the CPR value uh, like the previous one for the corrected load values and penetration values okay